Hello, my name is Hian Kwok, and I have an important story to share. But first, you should know this isn't my actual voice. You see, I hired a voiceover guy to better tell my story and another professional to create this presentation. I hired them to illustrate the entire point of the story I'm going to share with you. You see, success isn't about your capabilities alone. You don't have to be good at everything to succeed. In fact, real success is about having a good plan, the right system, and great teamwork. And using some very simple principles, I'm going to show you how I discovered the secret to greater financial freedom, to achieving success, and how you can earn a living on your terms and in a way that fulfills your passions. Now I know that sounds like a familiar pitch, but what I'm offering isn't just a nice story, but an actual way that you can apply my hard-earned lessons to your own success. So stay with me for just a few minutes and I promise you won't be disappointed. You see, I started off like most people. I went to college, I worked hard, I earned a degree in engineering, bought a house and started a family. It was the American dream and I thought if I did all the right things, then I'd have both happiness and success. Five years later though, things weren't as I thought they'd be. And one morning, I found myself lying in bed, staring at the ceiling, realizing that for all my hard work and effort, all I had to show for it was a lot of bills and a $300 savings account. Not only wasn't I getting ahead, I was actually falling behind. And the more hours I put in, the more taxes I paid, so it seemed that more work wasn't the answer either. You see, at the time, my only motivation was to earn money. I thought that would solve all my problems, that if I just had enough money, then I'd be happy and fulfilled. I came to realize that just earning money, though, wasn't enough. You see, I discovered that with every increase in every overtime dollar earned, the government took a larger share through taxes. So I decided to study the tax issue a bit closer. I knew I couldn't do anything about the tax code, but over and over I read that the secret to lower taxes was offsetting them with business expenses. And the only way to have business expenses was to open my own business. Of course, like many people, I had no idea how to find, open, or even run a business. I imagined that it required things like a storefront, equipment, product, and employees. Plus, you needed the one thing I didn't have, money. Still, I knew I had to do something to get out of the endless debt loop that I was in. So I started to read everything I could on starting my own business and discovered that online stores were a low-cost way to get started. It seemed like something I could do, and as an engineer, I liked the idea of the process, so I dove in. Setting up my first store played to all my strengths. I went out and I learned about web design, electronic shopping carts, coding my site, and the various products I could sell. But when it came to actually loading products onto my site and maintaining all the stuff you had to maintain, I started to get bored. It just felt like my day job, and worst of all, I wasn't making any money at it. I decided the revenue problem was that I just didn't know enough about SEO and sales. I figured the best thing I could do was learn those things, so I abandoned my online store for the moment and went into real estate. My timing, of course, was less than perfect as I entered the market in 2008, right as the housing industry crashed. Two years later, the only thing I had learned was that I didn't like wearing a suit, chasing leads, and I certainly didn't like still being poor. But I needed to make money, and I was still interested in being my own boss, so I took over my parents' business, a small donut shop, and I failed again. Transferring the business, getting the building up to code, purchasing new equipment, it all landed me in $20,000 worth of debt. And although the revenue plodded along, I just didn't have a passion for getting up early every day and grinding out a living that was no better and no more fruitful than my engineering job. The idea that internet marketing and sales could be my answer had stayed with me though. It seemed there were thousands of people being successful. I knew I just hadn't figured out the formula. So I bought an online training course for $7, which I could barely afford, and learned about website sales and affiliate marketing. It seemed easy enough, so I got started. The sales did trickle in, but not enough to inspire me and barely enough to pay any of my bills. Worst of all, however, I was again bored with the repetitive process. Select a product, load a product, sell it, find a new product, and repeat. I really thought the problem was me, that maybe I lacked the focus to be successful. Needing money and determined to work on my focus, I took a job at a bullet factory. I signed up for the most repetitive, tedious, boring process job they had. 12 hours a day, I made bullets. It was mind numbing, but I thought it would help. It did, but not in a way I ever imagined. You see, I hadn't given up on my online store. With the little time I had, I started an online t-shirt and hoodie store. I didn't have the time to do the research, the design, or the product maintenance, so I outsourced that stuff to other people that I had found online who I could afford. And then, the most amazing thing happened. 
While I toiled away at the bullet factory, my sales jumped to $30,000 one month. Somewhere along the line, after 50 designs, we had discovered the one that people loved. I realized that the law of averages had worked. If you stuck with something long enough, sooner or later, you find the winner. The question I had now was, could that success be repeated, and could it be repeated quicker than my first attempts? And the answer? The first thing I learned was that I needed to get out of my own way. You see, the harder I tried to do things I didn't like doing, the more I slowed my own process. I came to understand that instead of focusing on my weaknesses, I should focus on my strength. The second thing I learned was that being successful requires the help of others. And the third and final thing was that behind every success story is a process, a process you can learn and you can repeat. I wanted to test that last part. You see, I always enjoyed helping others and I was so excited by what I had discovered, I wanted to know if I could use it to help someone else. I got my chance when I ran into an old friend at a party. His story was like many people and a lot like mine. His wife was working on her nursing degree and he was trying to support them, but he had no money and a ton of debt. When he told me he was paying his rent with credit cards, I decided I would at least try to help him. I explained the process I had used from setting up my store to outsourcing the work. He seemed eager, almost desperate to try anything, so we agreed to meet at my house where I'd walk him through my process. Within a few weeks, he had his first sale, and with a few months, his financial concerns were resolved. It was a great feeling to help him, and as I built my own sales to over $1,000 a day, I kept returning to the happiness and fulfillment I felt helping my friend. I realized that money wasn't the real key to my happiness. It seemed that way only because I didn't have enough. But once I found success, I knew that my real passion was in teaching and helping others. Those are the things that give my life purpose and fulfillment. But to help others, I wanted to apply the same process I had learned with online selling. That is, I didn't want to help just one person at a time. I wanted to reach as many people as I could. And that's the reason I decided to create my online training course. And that is what I'm offering you today. I really want to help you reach your goals. I want to show you all the things I've learned. And I know better than anyone that you want, probably need, a system that will work this week. Not next month, not next year, but right now. And I know, just like me and my friend, you probably don't have a lot of money to get started. That's okay, because I'm offering you my three video courses for free. With the courses, you'll quickly learn how to set up your fully functioning store, seed it with the one thing needed for success, and you'll learn how to use a virtual assistant to do all the heavy lifting. Plus, I'm going to share with you my secret to getting your virtual assistant to happily give up 16 hours of free help. With this one secret, you can hire up to four virtual assistants and get your first 40 hours of work for free. And the best part, my program will show you how to start selling in a week. So don't wait and don't retrace all the hard, pointless steps I took. Opt in and get started towards the success you deserve. The only thing you need to invest is your email and your time. So come join me and I'll see you on the other side.